Well, this is you know fantastic film and wonderful to have Nabil here. Uh, I just drove from Ithaca um, to come here. It's a six-hour drive, so I'm a little bit out of it. Okay, so if I space out, please kind of call me back to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's wonderful. I thought you know because um, basically um, uh, th there's a kind of a you know this new cinema coming out from from Pakistan, but it's. Uh, and it would be helpful, I think, for all of us to understand some of the basic, uh, you know, issues that uh, filmmakers face, right? And uh, so perhaps, uh, Nabil, may I begin by asking you how you conceived of the film, and you know, some of the so, sort of what 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 is the uh, the road you took, you know, to kind of in a sense realize it? Um, okay, it's it's quite a long road, so uh -huh. you know, yeah. I think I can't uh, explain it in twenty five minutes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, uh, in Pakistan, all the young filmmakers are very passionate to make a film. Mm -hmm. You know, and every director, whether he's doing a he or she doing a TV or anything, they want to you know end up making a film because it's a director's medium. Mm -hmm. So, so this is was uh, my dream also. And luckily, you know, I I, I would say I I'm the most luckiest uh, guy in Pakistan right now that. I have made this film uh, in the age of 30 years, like I'm 30 years old. So, so that's the thing. And uh, by the road, you, I, I just wrote this script, you know, with my co producer with my producer and co-writer Fiza. We just wrote the script, and then we knew from the day one that we have to, you know, make it by hook or. Rob a bank or <laughs> sold our kidney. Or yeah, burn a bank, to, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have to do it. So, uh, so this is how things, you know, start rolling, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were so stupid, you can say, or, or you know, so uh, uh, ignorance is a bliss, this is a thing. So uh, we just, you know, uh, end up, when we, when we made it, then we realized, okay, we have done the big thing. And now the most difficult part, it was to release it. You know, in Pakistan, okay. Pakistan, uh, releasing uh, a film is a difficult thing rather than, you know, making one. Because there is uh, no good distributor and there is no uh, larger number of screens. Mm. So uh, that's why, you know, it's difficult for a producer or a financer to finance a film of certain budget. So these are the things which uh, new filmmakers really face. Okay. And uh, let's talk about the theme. So it's this kind of black humor, you know, this, uh, yeah. right? Uh, an action film based on kind of black humor. So, uh, uh, you know, I mean, did you, you know, obviously this theme appeals to, you know, appeal to you, but perhaps you may also, I mean, can I, can I ask you to say something more about? Yeah. Uh, okay, you know, yeah. uh, I'm a fan of like Quentin Tarantino uh -huh. Uh -huh. and, you know, Guy Ritchie uh -huh. and there's a few uh, Bollywood, Anurag Kashyap. I like their style of working. They, they usually work on dark humor or, yeah. or you know, the brutalism that, that sh I showed in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, you know, quite inspired by them and that dark humor, in fact. And uh, as a Pakistani, we always, you know, face these things in our real life, mm -hmm. this, uh, you know, all the strike things. So we are quite, you know, immune to that now. Mm. So we take it as, as entertainment rather than, you know, uh, we see people in news getting killed and we are, you know, are immune now. It's like daily routine. Mm. So this is what I, I made a film about. Like three people are, you know, burning a bank, but everyone in the audience is laughing. Mm. So itself is, you know, like, uh, enough to say about. Mm -hmm. So this is what, you know, insensitivity in it. Yeah. So, you know, it's speaking of your kind of, in a sense, the, you know, the, the filmmakers you're inspired by. I also saw many, what I might may call intertextual themes here, you yeah. know, in a sense, a, a citation of other, you know, uh, you know, uh, cinematic uh, tropes that uh, many other filmmakers have developed. So it was that part of a conscious uh, attempt to, uh, or, uh, uh, Can you elaborate? Well, in the sense of, you know, in a sense that it's, uh, you know, when we make cinema or we make any art form, then it's, uh, it's about exploring a theme, right? But it's also, in a sense, investigation of the formal language, right? So, and the formal language comes from other, you know, from the body, the historical body of work that has developed to the present. So, I mean, I was seeing both in, in, in the yeah, yeah. cinema, which is, you know, which is powerful because there were, for example, the doll might recall some, 
films about kind of heroin smuggling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, so, I, uh, right? Like, I have seen, I think, almost like thousand of films, and I am inspired by every... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. obviously, whenever I'm making a new film, in my subconscious, there is something from... Some but there film. is a cinematic library in your head, yes, which yes, you're yes, pulling know, out from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm very so, filmy. Yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Dialogues from this film, <laughs> which has helped me. You know, when I when I'm writing my own film, I know, no, okay, I can't write this one. This one has already been done. Ha, ha, so ha. <laughs> this is what. Ha, 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 ha. Huh. Really, filmmaker should know. Yeah, and that's what a good cinematic sort of, you know, uh, intertextual yeah. uh, references do yeah. is that you yeah. become aware of what's already been done, yeah. and uh, but also in a sense that you also place yourself in in a, in a development of kind of uh, cinema, right? Uh, okay. Um, now, uh, can we talk about how 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 specifically you might? we would think of this as a Karachi film, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a Pakistani film. You know, in other yeah. words, that, uh, you know. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a Pakistani film, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Karachi-centric because uh -huh, uh -huh. because of a strike. The uh -huh. strike is usually happened in Karachi. Uh -huh. So, you know, I cannot uh, make this film set, set in Lahore because Lahore has uh, not this kind of a culture. Uh -huh. So this uh, strike culture and this, you know, uh, mobster culture is in Karachi based. So this, it is more Karachi centric and I, I have spent my 10 years in Karachi. So I am, you know, I, I have experienced all these things mm -hmm. in my real life, which I have put it in the film. Even in that, that bus scene, the guy molesting a guy, a guy, that is also an experience, you know. So these uh -huh. things are all happened in buses in Karachi. This is not, you know, happened in Lahore. So that is why more Karachi and I'm making a next film, which is also, you know, Karachi centric, but somehow, I don't know, uh, uh, the concepts came in my mind is uh, based in Karachi. I'll try to, you know, uh, think. Uh, so, Nabil, were you living in Lahore before? No. Or, uh, no. But you... I, I'm from Sakha. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, small yeah. town. I see, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I came in Karachi in 2004 and yeah. I started working with different TV channels and freelance and then I ended up making this film. Right, right, okay. Now you know uh, uh, Gogi, Gogi's, Gogi, Gogi yeah. Bhai has a certain resemblance to uh, yeah. a prominent leader in you know who is also <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. based. Right? To be honest, yeah, I can say that. Uh, 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 I don't know, maybe uh, maybe you got it right or wrong. Uh, but uh, uh, which leader you think? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't live in Pakistan. <laughs> no, but I couldn't uh, possibly know. Okay. okay. No, but uh, as a personality, <laughs> like as a personality, I have more, you know, uh, briefed Salman Saab that uh, I want kind of a Zardari uh, uh -huh. people. Uh -huh. Maybe you are wrong, but Zardari is the guy who, who takes, you know, money, uh, Mr. 10%. He's like that kind of a guy, uh -huh. brutal. So. Uh -huh. But perhaps there's an amalgamation of more than one reference. Okay, in, okay, yeah, yeah. can you okay. please uh, elaborate? Uh, but I don't live in Karachi, so okay, I wouldn't so, know. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I've made this film in Karachi, in fact, so uh, kudos to me. Um, and uh, in terms of, um, let's say, technical, you know, the technical hurdles or the technical process, uh, can you say something about, you know, in a sense that you had to, you, you, mm. you, you know, you had to block off Southern streets of Southern yes, and, you yes, know, burn yes. vehicles there and so yeah. on, and the kind of equipment you use, the yeah. technical expertise you draw upon. You know, in yeah, Pakistan, so. we are, you know, quite uh, sound by uh, technology-wise and, uh. and equipment-wise. We have now all kind of cameras. Uh, all digital cameras. Only uh, the thing we lack uh, is the sound, mm -hmm. sound mixing. Mm -hmm. We have studios there, but not sound engineers. I see. Because uh, people are not trained yet, because there was not uh, films were being made. So I hope we will be, you know, able to pull that off in coming years. And with that, uh, Sadar blocking a streak, there is a strong, uh, interesting. Uh, incident when we were shooting that sequence uh, at Sada, we blocked whole you know street uh, earlier overnight, and uh, when we started burning the cars, all the TV channels came up and all, all the uh, fire brigade came up and they were like you know oh there is a shooting going on and surprisingly they were on the same day there is a political party party called MQM, you know of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> So there's a party called MQM. They already, you know, have a rally. So most of the you know, people thought that they are doing this, car burning and all. So that was quite a funny thing that uh, we were shooting on the other road and they were doing their real thing on the other road. <laughs> so we were like, okay. Right, 
Right. And in again, uh, coming back to the technical, uh, so in terms of, you know, Karachi is seen to be the sort of the media capital, right? Yes. Because a lot of the, the ad agencies, the TV yes. channels, yes. and also many of the filmmakers yes. are based in. So do you find that there's a kind of a growing ecology, if you will, of uh, expertise and, yes. and, uh, and, and personnel and, uh, you know, uh, and, yeah, and techniques yeah. that you can draw upon from, uh, from various production houses or? Yeah, yeah, Karachi, since, you know, uh, the, the cinema revival is now is, you know, beginning from Karachi, actually, uh -huh. rather than Lahore. Lahore is, you know, all, uh, you know, done with the films. Right now, Karachi is booming in terms of film, in terms of overall, whatever you can say, in advertising or, or hmm. TV channels. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, I hope in future, it will, in Lahore will be the same. Yeah. Uh, so perhaps at this point, it might be good to open the, okay. the floor. If you have questions or observations, please. Uh, um, we have a, do we have a, do we have a microphone or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's begin with the gentleman there. Yeah. In the in the yes. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, can I say one thing that will give some historical context, which is to say that, uh, you know, when, when, when cinema was being shot by, this is, a digi this is digitally shot, right? But when cinema was being shot by, in the, in the sort of the golden age of, actually from, from much of the 20th century, in Pakistan as well as in South Asia, the censor board would insist actually that, uh, that films had to have a positive message. Okay, so this is, um, um, so in some sense, you need to think about uh, the question of morality and the question of, of cinema and, the, and its address to the audience also in this kind of a historical trajectory in which, um, uh, in which in the 50s and so on, the, the insistence was that cinema had to have a posi positive message, right? As a result, many themes could not be explored. Okay, so I, th that's, but that's just my observation, but yeah. perhaps, you know, you have. You know what, uh, yeah. there is, uh, it's not necessary to have a morale in a, in a film, you know, maybe I have made a film on people, those have no morals. So that's it. Uh, okay, we are going to take turns. Yeah, the, the lady in the, in the. No, no I think let's, let's have the microphone, yeah. Uh, Okay. Do, uh, do you think that there is a Spider-Man or Superman in real? <laughs> it's a fiction. You don't have to, you know, uh, see it like that. You just have to enjoy it. It's a commercial film. It's a commercial cinema. So we can say that it would be a dark humor. Yeah, it's a, it's a dark humor. It's and I would say humor. it's a, that every film is a fable. It's not real. It's a fabling or a storytelling which may or may not have any connection with reality. Okay? Uh, uh, yeah, so, um, yes, uh, right there, yes. On that note, could I ask you what the reception of the film was in Pakistan? And also um, how people are responding in Pakistan to the revival um, in Pakistani cinema? And is it a positive response that people are taking pride in the fact that more and more films are being made by young directors like you? How, you know, the response that you get both in the media and also just generally sort of in the public. Okay, uh, the response was great. Uh, this film uh, was released on uh, 6 October 2014 and ran for 200 days in a cinema. So that was, you know, a milestone. 
And uh, it was, you can say it was kind of first commercial comedy film since the revival has begun. So people have well, you know, uh, received it or, you know, uh, I have got a lot of uh, commercial success. Now I have a lot of producers lined up they, who want me to direct their film. So overall, I think the uh, film did pretty well in terms of business and commercial success overall. So, and things are getting even better. By now, uh, this year in Pakistan, uh, almost 10 to 12 films have released already. Uh, in 2014, only three. So you can see the difference within a year. OK, so there's a, a question here. And, um, and we'll go from there, yes. First of all, I congratulate you. It's beautiful. I enjoyed every moment, and I was like really thrilled, very happy. And a question for the item number you already stopped this time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to ask about I it. I am fed up of it, seriously. Right. You know, everyone ask it. Okay. It's not halal. There is no halal or haram film. There is a film, film. <laughs> But you, you can ask, you can ask. And it just seemed like like out of the place because the movie was so engaging okay. that you know you didn't need anything except. You know what? Uh, I I don't find it out of place because you know when you show a mobster they, they are burning a bank, they would go for something entertaining rather than going to a milad or Quran Khani. They would definitely go for some you know dance to you know uh, enjoy their you know what they have done. And, and you know, uh, but there are you know male audiences. I'm sure, unka jo opinion hai, wapse bilkul different Let let me just say formally that what I saw is that you know when after the mob, right? It's already a kind of hallucinatory kind of space, right? And in mental space. And then when these people come out, the item number is quite isolated. So it's almost as if it's a kind of a dream, if you will, right? I mean, it has that kind of a not real, not real kind of a association. Uh, yeah, this. Uh, Uh, whether it be the uh, structure of the government and the engagement interactions with the region. Um, this might not be the right question to ask you because I don't know how much control you have over the uh, dialogue of the characters, but there's a point where Farhan and Moon have an exchange where Farhan says, uh, or Moon says, uh, if you're a man, come outside, um, stop acting like a woman. And then Farhan replies, I'm not a woman, you are. So even in here, um, the irony is a little ambiguous. I don't know if it's intentionally asking about the way feminism and the role of women are still issued and the way that being called a woman is an insult. So if you could provide a little insight into where the ambiguity is lying, if there was a certain irony or something like that. Okay, uh, first of all, I have total control on dialogues because I co wrote this film. <laughs> Secondly, uh, the question you are asking, I think you didn't uh, heard it correctly. There was no such thing that I want to you know, insult woman or you know, feminism at all. Uh, Farhan actually said to him that uh, come out, uh, come out, okay. What was your question? <laughs> 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 No, it's not like that. You know, in Pakistan, usually, women are, you know, uh, tend to be in a house. They don't go out usually. So that that is more of a, you know, uh, idiom rather than, you know, uh, a dialogue. I would say. So there is no, uh, you know, I respect women totally. So yeah, but your characters about. may not respect women. They may be offensive. Yeah, and exactly. you see, they. Right. There was no such message in it, I think, to be honest. I'm not, uh, you know, very... Uh, it, was, it was a social structure, basically. Men's yeah, life in Pakistan, yeah. Yeah. or even women. Yeah. Yeah. There is structure like that. It was a representation of that structure. Yeah, so again, in a sense that, the, I mean, in a sense that I, I don't advocate burning banks either, right? Yeah. But then, so in a sense, you know, the characters, the way they're acting, they're, they're, they're quite, they are quite repulsive in various ways. They're quite engaging in other ways, too. So they're quite complex characters, right? Um, 
And again, so this would be the question of morality, whether, um, and I, I think the, the, the question of black humor and morality, black humor itself may have, um, 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 you know, a sense of morality in the sense that you're already in a, in a space where normal rules don't apply, right? Everything is, everything goes wrong in sequential ways. It's a fable, right? It's a fable. Uh, uh, Wazira, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I have been thinking of making a film for like the day I started my career. So for 10 years, I have uh, all I was doing is a recce, you know. All the way I was being traveled to, you know, when in buses or in taxi, you know, I have always, you know, see some location. If I find it, I, I always, you know, uh, say in my heart that, okay, I I'll, I'll, might shoot something here when I, when I will be making a film. So, uh, there are a lot of areas which, you know, in, even in people in, uh, living in Karachi, don't, uh, never heard of it, like Lines area. It's known for, you know, uh, MQM. There is only, you know, MQM people live there. And it's very, you know, like a slums. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of other buildings. And uh, the interesting thing about the room in which uh, Moon and Farhan you, uh, used to live, uh, it was all constructed with real, you know, bricks and cement. It, was, it wasn't there. It was just barren, you know, uh, roof of some uh, house. We talked to them that we have to, you know, build a room. Because, you know, the kind of room I have visualized it, we couldn't find it in real. So we had to, you know, construct it eventually. So that is why, you know, uh, when I was constructing it, so I had my, all my angles in my mind. So I have, you know, put a, a window on the roof and every Whereas when you are uh, shooting at a set, you have you know certain margin of you know replacing a wall and took your camera outside and inside. But when you are shooting on a real location, you have uh, constraint, camera constraint. So I have almost like uh, 13 or, or 12 scenes in my room. So I uh, you know uh, when I decided to make a floor plan of this uh, room, so I took my uh, bigger scene in which I have four or five character the scene in which Gogi came. So I blocked that scene on paper, and then I designed my room so that I know when I have five person in the room, how can I place my camera? So the interesting thing was when we, made, uh, when we you know, construct this room, there was a neighbor in that neighborhood. He, you know, uh, construct 15 <coughs> feet wall in front of that room before one day of the shoot, before the day of the shoot. And I, w I went for the propping, and I was like, what the hell, what is this? <laughs> I chose this location because it has a nice sun coming, and this is what he has done. And they, you know, we literally begged to him like, uncle, please. <laughs> please, <laughs> you But he was like, you know, you know how people react to you know, such things in uh, Pakistan when, when you are shooting. If they know you are shooting, oh, haram. Parda, har cheez. So he was like, uh, no. Uh, he wants his privacy, huh? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, wants yeah, his yeah. privacy. Yeah. Then, pretty mushkil se, we were like, you know, please break it down. Then he eventually, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ob obviously. You can't. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't contact him. Yeah, but there's one more. after that. But you know, one thing I wanted to say also about the 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 the, the way the, the the setting of the film is that it's uh, it's also it's marked by a certain kind of a class, right? In the sense that you don't really see upper class spaces, even you know, except for I mean, the only upper class character, if you will, is the banker. Bank. Is exactly, the banker, exactly. and you don't really see you know, the you don't see her house is, either, the right? The funniest thing yeah, is yeah. people used to think in Pakistan. Yeah. That I have made a film which is grunge looking, which is you know based on lower middle class, 
they thought that it's a it's a low budget film but they don't realize that i have created all these locations <coughs> you know even that uh, scene in which uh, that garbage man you know trying to uh, uh, that bomb thing the molotov cocktail yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that bomb yeah, thing yeah. it was you know uh, all clean garbage <laughs> it was all clean garbage actors can't act in a you know okay. smelly garbage it was all clean garbage we put that garbage uh, cart there you know so it was all created but even pakistan thought oh ye tumne to bahut sasti film bana li hai yaar real location wagaira the i was like okay okay because there is no you know glamour glamour because i don't want to make that kind of film yeah there's a question back there all the way back there yes so uh, i have a comment and a question so yes. first of all i really enjoyed the movie thank you um and uh, the cycle of crossing borders and i really hope that your movie is actually shown in india as well because uh it it gives a vision of the humanity behind the chaos uh and uh you know even just in india right now there is a there's very negative rhetoric is this this you know to me is a beautiful insight into the city i've never been to but it just it looks so familiar uh the question is um why do you choose to have any song like i saw that as like bollywood like so so why do you choose to do that like you can obviously you have many options so why have any music or any dance somewhere in there you know what uh, it's my first film or I, all i wanted everything in it to be honest <laughs> so, so you wanted a masala film <laughs> yeah i to to be honest I, when i was making this film i don't want it to be critically acclaimed director or trying to be pseudo intellectual i just wanted to be you know a commercial filmmaker who can make a good entertaining film that's all <laughs> a good masala film yes right, with everything in it yes. so on that no note moral no message no bhashan <laughs> on that no note we know. have to end okay so okay la- last last quick comment by bina okay I, 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 <laughs> okay. uh, quick question one is how did you finance the film and the second question is i saw a lot of um what what the sahar talked about the cross sexual references in the hog i think was the first such uh, film so how much did you draw and what how did that did that inspire you at all or was that a reference at all you know i watched zindabad after my film on dvd <laughs> I have heard about it, but yeah, you can say that it is also a similar genre kind of. It, it is also a dark. Uh, not that was not comedy, but that was more of a uh, you know social message in it, or you know it, uh, talk about a issue, social issue. But uh, what was your first question? Yeah, okay, that is the interesting thing. You know, uh, my friend, the the producer of the film is my friend. I I know her. I know her for like past ten years. So. I told her that I want to make a film and I want to make a cheap film I can make it in 50 lakh. She was like okay and I end up making this film in 8 crore. So you know you have to pitch your film with a smaller budget. Once the producer is trapped <laughs> he has to you know complete it. So that that is my sign. Is she a banker? No. <laughs> she she literally you know she, she literally sold out her house literally. So Well, we have and I was end. about to sort my kidney, but I said, okay. <laughs> For next film, one more question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, this gentleman here. Hi. Thank. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, I just had a uh, more long-term question about like your plans in the future, and also who are your favorite kind of younger directors in Pakistan? Do you see yourself as somebody who wants to uh, like empower women more in Pakistan? Okay. Uh you know what I, the next film I'm working on it's more of a social satire and to be honest that is the film which I would like to you know showcase in a festival rather than you know cinema this was proper commercial film and that one is also going to be commercial but I I'm trying to find a good balance between arts and commerce so uh and there is a very uh, provoking woman empowerment I think in that film and uh I can't say much about it right now because that's my style. I don't disclose until I made it uh, because I find I think it will get jinxed if I you know talk okay. about okay. it. Okay. When 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 do you expect it to be out? Uh, next year inshallah October. Inshallah. Okay. The, we are going to take one very last question, okay? Because uh, and and one from Iram after yeah. that. Okay. So okay.
amazing to see the satire of the city spot on and very relevant to the political situation. What I really enjoyed in the film and what I, what I feel is applicable to most of Pakistan is the way you satirize the media. That <laughs> you know, that, that is coming inside from me. You know? That's, I know I have worked in a TV channel and I know how they are. So. <laughs> Exactly, that, that's the insensitive thing they ask exactly. everyone, you know, your father, for your father died, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, what kind of a stupid question is <laughs> Okay, the very, one very last um, comment by Iram, okay. Um, so, it's only because you're a fellow filmmaker <laughs> that you're getting this. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, yes, Iram. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, those. So, I mean, um, okay. <laughs> um, I don't think there's a necessity of differentiating between what is commercial and what is art. And what does that mean? I mean, Nawaz accommodate made move, it paid money, right? It might not have made as much money as, as this film. So, you know, as a filmmaker, and like, as we're developing the language of talking about films, I think it moves us to not separate what is message and what is commercial. Um, because you can have all of it. And some make more money than um, the question I want to ask you is that, and the other thing is, you keep saying also, but you had brilliant production design on this film, right? I mean, you had so much detail. I mean, it, it, you did make it not super glossy. It's something to have glossy in my case, but you did really well. So congratulate yourself on yeah. that. And take a bow yeah. on how much layering and how amazing the, the script was. The um, question I had was, um, being a fellow filmmaker and having worked with Pakistan as an actor, what was your experience working with such experienced actors? And I know especially that guy who does the Mazak stuff. Uh, Mohsen. Mohsen, oh, brilliant guy, right? I'm sure there was a lot of um, improv on the set. No. no, there was no improv on the set. Really? Not as such. I think it was uh, totally scripted, 95% script. And even the kind of improv I have done in more of a in in the dubbing, rather than the shooting. You know, there are small little spaces which I find. You know, I. And working with the actors, I think uh, they all supported, like, you know, like they are like my best friend. Even Sheikh Sahib is very senior, even Salman Sahib. Uh, there was uh, so much positive energy on the set. And Sheikh Sahib, I would say, he's, he's one of the most positive actors I have worked with. And Mohsen is my, you know, uh, old friend. I always wanted him to be in my first film. That I, I promised him when I was, you know, uh, used to do TV. I, was, uh, I, I always, uh, see potential in him, and I, I think he has a good future. All right. All right, okay. Well, thank you. Th please thank the filmmakers.